All right, so we finally have a new campaign on Global, or maybe it's part two of the New Year celebration. Either way, new stuff is on the way. So in today's video, we're gonna check out exactly what's going on together. Okay, so let's pop into the news here. And I can't click on it for some reason. Here we go. And once it loads, there it is, guys. Okay, so part two of the New Year celebration is officially here. We have UI Goku's back, as well as Jiren, of course. Now we know LR Jiren is on the way, but Hopefully, there are some other surprises as well. So it says, Happy New Year 2021. Celebration Part 2 is on. Uh, various events. New SSR Jiren Full Power, who can be awakened into an LR, will show up in the Legendary Summon. Don't miss out on other events, including a new Extreme Z battle, new story event, and a new challenge event. Okay, so first things first, we have special missions. We have a Dragonstone sale, which seems pretty standard. Yeah, just the 32 stone pack and 391 stone pack. So nothing too special there. And we also have the legendary summon banner for Chirin. Now, if you guys are a little bit on the fence about whether or not you should be summoning, like you're not sure if it's worth your stones, feel free to go check out my pass or pull video from yesterday. Okay, I'll put a link somewhere above my head. Actually on this side. Okay, so go check it out if you guys are not sure about what to do with this banner, but it will be dropping tonight, or I guess technically tomorrow morning at 1.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as always, I will be live to do some live summons as soon as that happens. So if you guys are gonna be awake at that time, then make sure to tune into the stream, all right? And from there, we have a, uh, yeah, Elder Kai banner. There's the Extreme Z battle for Topo and Dispo. And uh, also a brand new story event, University 11 story event with a free to play Fizz casserole slash pride troopers and also some token events returning as well or available every single day during the campaign. And uh, what else? Some story events coming back, Universe 6 Saga, and basically all of the Universe Survival Saga slash, slash Truman of Power story events, right? And, ooh, okay. Okay, I wasn't expecting it this soon. I wasn't expecting it this soon. Like, did it, did it come to JP that quickly? By the way, if you guys are curious about what the sound of the background is, that's my washing machine. Um, I didn't think it would finish that quickly, but that's what that is. But uh, yeah, I didn't expect the Frieza campaign to happen this soon, but apparently it's coming, guys. Extreme challenge campaign. And uh, as you can see, it starts on the 24th, so that's in about a week, and it ends on March 2nd. So I'm thinking it's gonna be like the Prime Battle Goku challenge campaign where they give us the details on the 24th, and then they give us a month to prep for it, and then the Extreme Z battle, or the Extreme Z area rather, with the uh, Extreme Z Awakening medals drops, you know, sometime in February. It's most likely gonna work like that. And uh, of course, also a new Extreme Z. Ooh, okay, so yeah, the Extreme Z area for the Raid 8 Bardock drops on the 24th. So I guess, yeah, that's when the prep period starts. So he is necessary for the Extreme Z area event for Frieza, along with the Extreme Z Awakened uh, Super Saiyan Goku, the you know Prime Battle one, and some other units. If you guys uh, wanna know exactly how that works, I'll make a video for you within the next couple of days. So definitely keep an eye out for that. But uh, yeah, Prime Battle Frieza EZA, dropping sooner than I expected. Maybe I should have expected it, but um, that's awesome. Yo, this guy is an absolute monster with that EZA. Just trust me. Trust me. And from there, we have two other story events returning or available every single day. And you do need certain characters to, um, you know, do the Extreme Z area here. So, yeah, this Bardock is going to be, you know, Extreme Z Awakened through the Extreme Z area events. And we also have a new Extreme Z, or sorry, uh, Explosive Chain Battle. A brand new Explosive Chain Battle versus Goku. I believe this is the one where you have to use World Tournament units, and a lot of people are not big fans of this one. Um, I mean, I'm excited for it. I always like Explosive Chain Battles for the rewards. I think the event itself is like, honestly kind of lame. Okay, I feel like it's a very, very, I don't know, it's just too basic, it's too boring for me, but uh, the rewards are good, so that's, you know, at least a positive there. And uh, yeah, that's gonna start on the 24th as well. And we have, uh, oh, everything else is from part one. Okay, so that's part two of the New Year's campaign. Nothing 
too crazy, no real surprises. Aside from the fact that we are going to be getting the first form Frieza EZA sooner than I expected. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys saw this coming. I swear it took longer between the Prime Battle Goku EZA and the first form Frieza EZA. You know, there was like a longer cooldown period in between on JP. But I could be wrong. I don't know. My memory is not the greatest. So those are all the events. A bunch of story events coming back. A bunch of token events available every day. New story event. New Extreme Z battle, and uh, also of course LR Jiren banner, we will be summoning, as always, when the banner drops, so uh, be there for that if you can, Dragonstone sale, and your standard missions, uh, let's see if there's anything else in the news here, uh, special missions part 2, let's see, what's going on here, okay, so get up to 20 Dragonstones, that's not bad, and also some training items, you know, Awakening Medals, Hercule Statues, Sleepy guys, your standard things for special missions. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious uh, if you plan to be summoning on the, or if you plan to summon on the LR Jiren banner. A lot of people told me that they actually plan to skip. And I kind of get it because it is, at the end of the day, it's still a legendary summon banner, right? And they're just not the best value. Rear stones. I'm gonna be straight up, right? Like, even though they're better than category banners, obviously, they're still nowhere near as good as Dokkan Fest banners or anniversary banners or any kind of like dual Dokkan Fest special banner, step up banner. Obviously, like, they are lower on the tier of like how good um, of a value it is for your stones. So, if you're skipping LR Jiren, I'm not surprised. I don't blame you, but yo, you guys know your boy cannot skip anything. Okay, I am just terrible with my stone management. I essentially spend all my stones for every new banner, and then I re-up re my stones, I buy more stones, and spend the money, because I've just accepted that like I cannot save to save my life. So if you want to see me potentially get shafted, then uh, be on that stream. I'll probably do a few collabs as well, so stay tuned for that. And uh, by the way, for anybody that entered the giveaway for that crazy global account from a week, from a week ago, I can't, I can't talk right now. Yo, I'm too excited for this football game. It's uh, Bucks and Saints right now, and it's like literally happening as I'm recording this video. So I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible. But uh, yeah, guys, um, if you enter the contest, a winner has been selected. Make sure to head over to my Twitter page to uh, find the little video I made for the giveaway. But uh, yo, congratulations to the winner. If you guys didn't win, I'm sorry, but uh, there will be more opportunities, opportunities to win you know, great things in the future. So don't be too disappointed, okay? And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.